Welcome to the Daily Row devotional podcast. This podcast presents biblical principles in a practical way that will help you discover more about God and grow in His Word. And now your host, Stacy Ann Rowe. Hi friends, welcome again to another Daily Devotional. Today we continue the series on three ways to make a difference in your world. Let's recap way number one. The first way in which we were challenged to make a difference is to promote godly values in our environment by teaching the word of God, challenging others to live by his principles, and praying against all forms of iniquity. By doing so, we are operating like the salt of the earth, being used to preserve godly values. Way number two, help create change in the lives of others. The Bible verse comes to us yet again from Matthew 5 verse 13 and it reads, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? Salt is not only used as a preservative, it is also used as a flavor and answer. In the kitchen, Without the use of salt, meals are typically bland and unpalatable, regardless of the amount of other spices that you may use. The outcome is similar in our environment if we, as salt of of the earth, fail to add or savor to the lives of those around us. They will end up living lives that are less than God intended it to be, because we would have failed to make the difference. Without the savor of Elijah, Elisha, the Shunammite woman would have lived the rest of her life childless. How can you transform the lives of others in your environment? And you can do this in different ways, by using your gifts, talents, greater strengths and resources to live out the purpose that God called you to. That was what the great men and women in the scriptures did to enhance the lives of people in their surroundings. Peter was an example of the salt of the earth who enhanced the lives of others. He healed the lame man at Gate Beautiful in Acts 3. Also in Acts 5 verses 14 to 15, the people laid the sick and those possessed with evil spirits in the street so that the shadow of Peter would pass over them and heal them. And the scripture said, they were healed everyone. Peter made a huge difference. Gideon also created significant impact. Although he did not work any miracles, he operated as the salt of the earth by delivering the Israelites from the oppression of the Midianites. Don't try to be salt of the earth the same way that Peter or Gideon did it. We were all called to be the salt of the earth. But the way in which we are expected to impact our world is different because our savor is different. Embrace the role that you have been given as salt of the earth by helping to enhance the lives of people around you through a life of purpose. Life application. Operate as salt of the earth by identifying and living out your purpose for the expressed objective of helping to create change in the lives of others. Let us pray. Lord, you have created me for a purpose. Help me to fulfill that purpose so that I can impact the lives of others around me. In Jesus' name, amen.